Hi, welcome everyone. In today's video, we are going to learn how to make a graph for a quadratic relationship, and which is usually required when you run a regression with a squared form variable. Since a squared form variable is a nonlinear relationship with respect to variables, so what happens is we are not able to visualize what kind of relationship it is because in that case the relationship is dependent upon the value of the independent variable so what we first do is we'll draw that independent variable quadratic effect graph and then we'll discuss how to interpret that so for that the command is curve and then coefficient of a square variable multiplied by x square plus coefficient of a linear variable multiplied by x and if you have a constant then plus constant number so in my case there was no constant and you have to tell the input value so from 1 to 36 so I want to perfect a plot where my x value will start from 0 to 36 and and there will be total 50 random points in which the uh, the uh, y will be calculated and then it will plot you can add x label and y label and then color of the line line thickness and the title of the graph so when you highlight it and execute it it will plot the graph like this so now what i told earlier that in this case the effect of x on y depends upon how much x it is so suppose x is 10 it has a positive effect if x is 30 it has a negative effect and around 20 it has a turning point uh, so it means that without visualizing you will not be able to understand what is the current effect of that variable this way you can draw the graphs so what i will do is i will start with zero in each case and then if you want if you have multiple scale forms what you can do is you can show them in the same graph like this so we'll start with this it is it is saying that there will be four two by two matrix where there will be four graphs can be placed so when i start with this and highlight all three commands and i, and I do run it will plot all four and then you can do save image and you can increase the size by like extending this page and then uh, select a directory where you want to save it and then save and and you can name it any you want and then you can use that graph this way you can draw the plots of quadratic effects using r so next time if you have a square variable in your graph you can use a square variable in your regression you can make beautiful graphs to explain the marginal effect of a square variable thank you very much for watching